Yahusha Joshua 22. Then Yahusha called the Reuvenim and the Gadim and the half tribe of Manasseh and said unto them, Ye have guarded eth all the all that Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. Ye have not left eth your brethren these many days unto this day, but have guarded eth the watch of the commandment of Yahuwah Elohechem. And now Yahuwah Elohechem has given rest unto your brethren, as he promised them. Therefore now return ye, and get you unto your tents, and unto the land of your possession, which Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, gave you on the other side of the Yardan. But take diligent heed to do eth the commandment, and eth the Torah, which Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, charged you to love eth Yahuwah Eloheichem, and to walk in all his ways, and to guard his commandments, and to cleave unto him, and to serve him with all your heart, and with all your soul. So Yahusha blessed them, and sent them away, and they went unto their tents. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moshe had given possession in Bashan, but unto the other half thereof gave Yahusha among their brethren on this side of the Yardan westward. And when Yahusha sent them away also unto their tents, then he blessed them, and he spoke unto them, saying, Return with much riches unto your tents, and with very much cattle, with silver, and with gold, and with brass, and with iron, and with very much raiment. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. And the children of Reuven, and the children of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, returned, and departed from the children of Yashar'el, out of Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go unto the country of Gilad, to the land of their possession, whereof they were possessed, according to the word of Yahuwah, by the hand of Moshe. And when they came unto the borders of the Yardan, that are in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuven and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by the Yardan, a great altar to see to. And the children of Yashar'el heard say, Behold, the children of Reuven and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh have built eth an altar over against the land of Canaan, in the borders of the Yardan, at the passage of the children of Yashar'el. And when the children of Yashar'el heard of it, the whole assembly of the children of Yashar'el gathered themselves together at Shiloh to go up to war against them. And the children of Yashar'el sent unto the children of Reuven, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilad, eth Painachach, the son of Eleazar, the priest, and with him ten princes, each, rather, of each chief house a prince, throughout all the tribes of Yashar'el. And each one was a head of the house of their fathers among the thousands of Yashar'el. And they came unto the children of Reuven, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, unto the land of Gilad. And they spoke with them, saying, Thus says the whole assembly of Yahuwah, 
What transgression is this that ye have committed against the Elohim of Yashara'el, to turn away this day from following Yahuwah, in that ye have built you an altar, that ye might rebel this day against Yahuwah, in at the iniquity of Peor, too little for us, rather, is at the iniquity of Peor too little for us? from which we are not cleansed until this day, although there was a plague in the assembly of Yahuwah, but that ye must turn away this day from following Yahuwah. And it will be, seeing ye rebel today against Yahuwah, that tomorrow he will be wroth with the whole assembly of Yashara'el. Notwithstanding, if the land of your possession be unclean, then pass ye over unto the land of the possession of Yahuwah, wherein Yahuwah's tabernacle dwells, and take possession among us, but rebel not against Yahuwah, nor rebel against us, in building you an altar beside the altar of Yahuwah Eloheinu. Did not Achan, the son of Zarach, commit a transgression in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the assembly of Yashara'el, and that man perished not alone in his iniquity. Then the children of Re'uven and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Menasheh answered and said unto at the heads of the thousands of Yashara'el, Yahuwah Elohim of Elohim, Yahuwah Elohim of Elohim. He knows, and Yashara'el, he shall know, if it be in rebellion or if, it in, or if in transgression against Yahuwah. Save us not this day, that we have built us an altar to turn from following Yahuwah, or if to offer thereon burnt offering, or meat offering, or if to offer peace offerings thereon, let Yahuwah himself require it. And if we have not rather done it for fear of this thing, saying, In time to come, your children might speak eth unto our children, saying, What have ye to do with Yahuwah Elohim of Yashara'el? For Yahuwah has made at the Yardan a border between us and you, ye children of Reuven and children of Gad. Ye have no part in Yahuwah. So shall at your children make our children cease from fearing at Yahuwah. Therefore we said, Let us now prepare to build us at an altar not for burnt offering, nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between us and you and our generations after us, that we might do at the service of Yahuwah before him with our burnt offerings and with our sacrifices and with our peace offerings, that your children may not say to our children in time to come, Ye have no part in Yahuwah. Therefore said we that it shall be when they should say, rather so say to us or to our generations in time to come, that we may say again, Behold, at the pattern of the altar of Yahuwah, which our fathers made, not for burnt offerings, nor for sacrifices, but it is a witness between us and you. Far be it that we should rebel against Yahuwah and turn this day from following Yahuwah to build an altar for burnt offerings, for meat offerings, or for sacrifices beside the altar of Yahuwah Eloheinu, that is, before his tabernacle. And when Pinachach the priest and the princes of the assembly and heads of the thousands of Yashara'el, which were with him, 
heard at the words that the children of Reuven and the children of Gad and the children of Manasseh spoke, it pleased them. And Pinachach, the son of Eleazar, the priest, said unto the children of Reuven and to the children of Gad and to the children of Manasseh, this day we pre- rather perceive that Yahuwah is among us. Because ye have not committed this transgression against Yahuwah, now ye have delivered F the children of Yashara'el out of the hand of Yahuwah. And Pinachach, the son of Eleazar, the priest, and the princes, returned from the children of Reuven and from the children of Gad out of the land of Gilad unto the land of Canaan to the children of Yashara'el and brought them word again. And the thing pleased the children of Yashara'el and the children of Yashara'el blessed Elohim and did not intend to go up against them in battle, to destroy Eth the land, wherein the children of Reuven and Gad dwelt. And the children of Reuven and the children of Gad called the altar Ed, for it shall be a witness between us that Yahuwah is Elohim.